Welcome back or welcome to my channel you guys so today I am here with a press on video this is new I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do my press on we're gonna be doing this nude and gold I guess French tip type of set I guess you could say so yeah if y'all want to see that then keep on watching so I'm gonna start by showing y'all everything that I used obviously you need some false nails these nail stickies to stick the nails to the nail stand a buffing block I list everything in the description box by the way lint free nail wipes alcohol a clear base gel, the Rise Nails nail polish in the color 112. This is the new color I used. A top coat, some gold foil or flakes, some small tweezers, 180-240 grit nail file, and then your UV lamp. So first I'm taking those little nail stickies. I don't know if that's what they're called or not, but that's what I call them. And I'm sticking it to the nail stand. I know you can use putty, but I just find that these hold better for me, so that's why I don't use putty. But I'm just sticking those to the nail stand so I can stick the nails on and start painting. This is basically like the prepping process right now. Now I'm taking that buffing block and just buffing the surface of the nail to remove the shine. That's all that this step is for. It's not like to thin out the nail or nothing like that. You're literally just removing the shine from that top layer. That's it. And then you see this area right here it's on all the nails in the bag you want to make sure you file that off too so literally it just takes like one to two little swipes and it comes off see so yeah just be sure to remove that and then you're gonna take your lint free wipes and the alcohol and wipe off the surface clean the surface off Now you want to take your clear base gel and I did one coat of that and cured it for 60 seconds under my light. Now you want to take that nude polish, the Rise Nails polish in 112, and I did three coats of this polish and I cured each for 60 seconds, except the last coat I did twice. I cured that one twice for 60 seconds each time. So now this is where you should be after this step. I did all the other nails off camera on this hand and now we're getting ready to do the foil. I did one hand already so we're gonna get ready to do this part. So I'm taking the Beatles top coat and I'm just painting a layer of that over the whole nail. I guess I really could have painted just on the area where I was applying the foil but I didn't really know exactly where it was gonna lay at because it wasn't like a perfect shape or anything so I just put it on the entire nail don't cure it because obviously you need that for the foil to stick to it so I'm just taking my gold foil and these tiny tweezers to like pick it up with and place it onto the nail and I'm really just placing it randomly um, it's not any perfect shape I guess it's more in like a French tip type of layout but it's not like a perfect French tip obviously it's like jagged in some areas but basically that's what I'm doing so I'm just placing it wherever until I'm satisfied with it and yeah
once you place all your foil and have it where you want it now you can cure it and I cured it for 60 seconds and then I just went ahead and repeated this on the other nails off camera as you can see this is how the rest turn out now what we're going to do is top coat all of the nails and this isn't the final top coat you'll see why in a minute i'll explain but i'm just applying one layer of top coat to all the nails and then i'm curing it for 60 seconds and also make sure you're getting the tips of the nails with the top coat don't forget the tips don't leave them out Now I'm taking another lint-free wipe and some alcohol and I'm just wiping the surface of the nail in case there's any sticky residue or anything like that from the top coat because we're getting ready to buff the nails to smooth out any lumps or bumps from the foil if there are any. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. It's kind of like when people do encapsulated acrylic nails and then they file the clear layer that they put over once they encapsulate it. That's kind of what this is. So yeah. So I'm taking the buffing block, the same one, and I'm just feeling with my finger, as y'all can see, where any of the bumps are, where it's not even, and I'm just going over those areas with the buffing block to smooth it out. Also during this step I'm taking that 180 to 40 grit nail file and just cleaning up the shape a little bit because it looked a little you know rounded or lumpy-ish I don't know it just kind of happens when you put multiple layers of gel so I'm just cleaning up the shape not too much though because you don't want to file off you know your design or whatever but yeah and then I'm just gonna repeat this on all the other nails and come back so once I've filed all the nails, I'm taking another lint-free wipe and some alcohol and just clean the surface of the nail again just to remove any dust or anything like that from buffing and filing. And yeah, I'm going to repeat this on all the other nails. <laughs> Now we're doing the final top coat, so that is the last step, is to top coat the nails, and I cured it for 60 seconds, and we'll be done. Now I'm going to show you guys really quick how I package my nails. So this is my cute little pink box. I got these off of Amazon and I just take the little stuffing out of it and I'm taking this double sided tape. I cut off a strip of that and then I cut that in half and this is what you're going to stick the nails to inside the box. So yeah I'm just placing one at the bottom and then one at the top since they're pretty long so I want to have room for them to fit so that's why I put it so close to the edge of the box. And then I'm just going to start popping the nails off. The nail stand, they should pop right off and I just stick them in the box. I do them in order from thumb to pinky and then I do it opposite on the other side. Then I take these little thank you stickers that I got, these little iridescent, I think that's what it's called, stickers. It just says thank you for supporting my small business and I put one of those on the back of the box. And for the front of the box, the lid, I take these labels. I got the labels from Office Depot, but I made the labels myself. They come just white. But it comes with instructions on how you can like go on their website and create it yourself, design it yourself. So that's what I did and just got it to match like the color of the box and put my logo on it. 
and that's what I put on the front of the box. So for orders, I put one sheet of the nail stickies. You can just put these on if you want to wear the nails for a night. You can just pop them right back off. A mini nail file, a cuticle pusher, a nail glue, and then an alcohol prep pad, and an instructions card. And I just put the stuffing back in the box and close the lid. Well, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.